I was making these coasters and I fed one through the thickness planer and the thickness planer ate it, which was entirely my fault because I hadn't fixed it down to the sled well enough. It just bumped up and got destroyed. Um, I was debating what to do with it. The first thought, put it in the rubbish. Second thought was maybe I could do a second resin pour and repair this portion of it. But on looking at it, I don't think it'll make a good repair. I think this piece has got too much missing. But then I thought, well, I can cut the coaster in half, um, cut the damaged piece in half, take off the damaged piece, and I do have one more piece of this wood, one spare piece that I had. I only have one or I'll make a whole new coaster. Um, so I'm gonna try a re-pour. I've stood my little resin cup in some warm water, which was one of the suggestions for getting rid of bubbles. And it actually seems to work really very well. Be honest I did naturally assume that pouring resin onto resin would leave the cracks invisible that does not seem to be the case yet Cold is awful. I'm sure it's worse for you on camera. I'm starting to think that that is not, that I've got marks on the surface at the crack that I should have cleaned. And that I've now entombed. That was indeed the case. And those of you with sharp eyes will notice that the coaster looks a little different now. After the second pour, I used the bandsaw to remove a section of the resin that had the marks inside. And I did a third pour to fill that section. I mean, it is the ugliest, ugliest thing. I'm running all four coasters through the thickness planer again. Here they're taped down to a board. I don't really like using tape, but it does seem to be the best solution. And then I've flipped them and I'm planing back on the other face as well. Thankfully, the thickness planer didn't eat any more of my coasters and I could move on to the final sanding steps. This involves five rounds of both sides at 120 grit, five rounds of both sides at 180 grit, five rounds of both sides at 240 grit, seven rounds at 400, seven rounds at 800, and then four rounds at 1200. I was also taking the time to do the edges of the coasters as well as the two main faces. The 1200 grit is wet sanding. The lower grades of grit, I just mist each side lightly before I start and use a permanent marker to show me roughly how much material I'm removing each pass. I think this has burnt out yet another random orbital sander. After the long slog that is sanding comes my favorite part of any project, which is applying Danish oil to the woods. Once we've applied two coats of Danish oil and it's had time to cure, we're ready for final polishing. This is really about the resin. The surface of the resin is reasonably clear after the sanding and improves again with a slight application of Danish oil, but really it's the polishing that makes them glassy and clear. And the final finishing is to pick my favourite sides and then attach these rubber feet to the bottom sides of each of the coasters.
So this is the worst one. This has a chipped corner and it's the one that I destroy cutting in two. You can get the right angle on that. You can see the join in the epoxy. I'm glad I persevered with these. Uh, I'm very pleased with the final result. The repair on the fourth coaster is not invisible, but it's still a reasonable coaster. I still use it. Um, and it was useful to learn about the process of recasting and what the deficiencies are. Overall, I think this is one of the favourite woods I've used so far. Um, yeah, more revisions to the process, but generally improvements all round, I think. Using the flat moulds was definitely an improvement, and the final coasters are nice and flat. Well, thank you for watching. Stay safe.